Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel USA Immigration and Visa. If you are here, chances are you have already submitted your DS-160 form and realized you need to make some changes. Don't worry, it happens to the best of us. In today's video, I will walk you through the steps to update your DS-160 form after submission. So let's get started. Are you planning to apply for a US visa soon? If so, you have heard of the DS-160 form, which is an online non-immigrant visa application form that you need to fill out and submit before your visa interview. The DS-160 form is a crucial part of your visa application process as it contains important information about your personal, education and professional background as well as your travel plans and purpose of visit to the United States. The information you provide in the DS-160 form will be used by the US visa officer to determine your eligibility and suitability for the visa category you are applying for. However, what if you realize that you have made a mistake or need to update some information in your DS-160 form after you have submitted it? For example, you may have entered a wrong date of birth, misspelled your name, changed your passport number or modified your travel itinerary. Or maybe you just want to make some minor changes or corrections to improve your chance of getting approved for the US visa. Whatever the reason, you may be wondering if it is possible to make changes in your DS-160 form after submission. And if so, how to do it? without affecting your visa application process. So let's get started with DS-160 form and the methods that I am going to tell you here in this video for making changes after submission of the DS-160 form. First method is how to create a new application using the retrieve an application option. The first method on how to make changes in your DS-160 form after submission is to use the retrieve an application option in the CEAC system. This option allows you to access your original application that you have submitted within the last 30 days and create a new application based on it. You can then edit and update new information in the new application and submit it as a replacement for the old one. This method is useful if you have made major or multiple changes in your DS-160 form such as changing your visa category, travel dates or contact information. For doing these changes, what you have to do is you have to go to CEAC website that is ceac.state.gov. Once on that website, select the retrieve an application option. Third step in this process is you have to enter your application ID number. You can find your application ID number on the top right corner of the confirmation page that you have printed or saved after submitting your original DS-160 form. It is a 10 digit alphanumeric code that starts with double A. Fourth step is select the create a new application option. Fifth step is edit and update the new information in the new application. You can now make any changes or corrections that you need in your DS-160 form. You can navigate through different sections of the form using the menu on the left side of the screen. You can also use the previous and next button at the bottom of each page to move back and forth between pages. Make sure to review and verify all the information that you enter in the form before moving to the next page. Sixth step is submit the new application. Once you have completed and checked all the sections of the form, you can submit the new application by clicking on the sign and submit application button at the end of the form. You will need to enter some security information such as your passport number, date of birth and country of citizenship. To confirm your identity and consent to submit the application, 
you will also need to answer some security questions that you have chosen when you started your original application. After that you will see a confirmation page. You have successfully submitted your newly updated DS-160 form using the retrieve an application option. You should print or save this confirmation page as you will need it for your US visa interview. This method will generate a new confirmation page with a different barcode from your original one. This means that you have created a new, new DS-160 form with a new application ID number which will replace your old DS-160 form with your old application ID number. The US visa officer will use this new barcode to retrieve your new DS-160 form during your visa interview. This is how you can create a new application using the retrieve an application option in the CEAC system. This method is easy and convenient as it allows you to reuse most of the information from your old application and make changes only where necessary. Now we will move on to second method. Second method is how to upload a previously saved application using the DAT file. The second method of how to make changes in your DS-160 form after submission is to use the upload a previously saved application option in the CEAC system. This option allows you to upload a DAT file that contains the information from your original application that you have saved to the drive or to a hard disk and make minor changes to it before submitting it as a replacement of for the old one. This method is useful if you have saved the DAT file from your original application and want to make small or few changes in your DS-160 form such as correcting a typo, adding a middle name or changing a phone number. To use this method you need to follow basic steps. Let me explain them. Step 1 is first similarly as the last time you have to go to the CEAC website that is ceac.state.gov. Second step is select the upload a previously saved application option. Third is upload the DAD file from your laptop or hard disk. You will need to browse and select the DAD file that contains the information from your original application that you have saved to your drive or hard disk. The DAD file is a binary file with the extension .dat and is usually named after your application ID number. For example, if your application ID number is AA12345678, your DAD file will be named as AA12345678.dat. Step 4 is make the necessary changes in the uploaded application. You can make any changes or corrections that you need in your DS-160 form. You can navigate through different sections of the form using the menu on the left side of the screen. You can also use the previous and next button at the bottom of each page to move back and forth between pages. Make sure to review and verify all the information that you enter in the form before moving to the next page. Step 5. Submit the newly updated application. Once you have completed and checked all the section of the form, you can submit the newly updated application by clicking on the sign and submit application button at the end of the form. You will need to enter some security information such as your passport number, date of birth and country of citizenship to confirm your identity and consent to submit the application. You also need to answer some security questions that you have chosen when you started your original application. You have successfully submitted your newly updated DS-160 form using the upload a previously saved application option. You should print or save this confirmation page so you will need it for your visa interview. This method will also generate a new confirmation page with, with a different barcode from your original confirmation page. This means that you have created a new DS-160 form with a new application ID number 
which will replace your old DS-160 form with your old application ID number. The US Visa Officer will use this new barcode to retrieve your new DS-160 form during your visa interview. This is how you can upload a previously saved application using the DAT file in the CEAC system. This method is also easy and convenient as it allows you to make minor changes in your DS-160 form without having to fill out the entire form again. Third method, what to do if you have already booked your visa appointment or paid your MRV fee using the original DS-160 form. The method that we have explained earlier will help you to make changes in your DS-160 form after submission and generate a new confirmation page with a new barcode. However, if you have already booked your visa appointment or paid your MRV fee using your original DS-160 form, there is one more thing that you need to do before your visa interview. You need to present both the confirmation pages from the new and original DS-160 form at your visa interview. This is because when you book your visa appointment and or pay your MRV fee, you are required to enter your application ID number from your original DS-160 form. This application ID number is linked to your visa appointment or payment record in the US Embassy or Consulate system. If you submit a new DS-160 form with a new application ID number, the US Consular Officer will not be able to process your visa application or appointment or payment records using the new barcode on your confirmation page. This may cause confusion or delay in your visa application process. To avoid any problem or misunderstanding, you need to bring both the confirmation pages from the new and original DS-160 form to your visa interview. You should show both the confirmation pages to the US Consular Officer and explain why you have submitted a new DS-160 form after booking your visa appointment or paying your MRV fee. You should also be prepared to answer any question that the US Visa Officer may have about the changes that you have made in your DS-160 form. Here are some tips that I would like to explain on how, to, how you can explain to the US Visa Officer the changes and, need, uh, and the need for a newly updated DS-160 form. First, be honest and polite. Do not lie or hide anything from the US Consular Officer. Explain clearly and respectfully why you made changes in your DS-160 form after submission and how they affect your visa application. Be specific and concise. Do not give vague or irrelevant answer. Focus on the main changes that you have made in your DS-160 form and how they relate to your travel plans and purpose of visit to the United States. Be consistent and coherent. Do not contradict yourself or give conflicting information. Make sure that the information that you provide in your new DS-160 form matches with your passport, travel documents and visa category. Be prepared and confident. Do not panic or get nervous. Practice and rehearse your answers before your visa interview. Have all the supporting documents and evidence ready to show to the US visa officer if it is needed and asked by the visa officer. Let me explain you some examples of possible interview questions and answers related to this scenario. Question can be that the visa officer may ask, why did you submit a new DS-160 form after booking your visa appointment? In which you can answer, I submitted a new DS-160 form because I realized that I had made a mistake in my original DS-160 form. I had entered my name as John Smith instead of John David Smith which is my full name as shown on my passport. I wanted to correct this error and make sure that my name matches with my passport. Second question can be, why did you submit a new DS-160 form after paying your MRV fee? Answer can be, I submitted a new DS-160 form because I had changed my travel dates after paying my MRV fee. I had orig originally planned to travel to the United States from June 15 to July 1st, but due to some personal reason, I had to postpone my trip to August 
1st to August 18. I wanted to update this information and make sure that my travel dates are accurate. Third question can be, why did you change your visa category from B1, B2 to F1 in the new DS-160 form? Answer can be, I changed my visa category from B1, B2 to F1 in my new DS-160 form because I had received an admission offer from a US university after submitting my original DS-160 form. I had originally applied for a, B, B, for a B1, B2 visa for tourism purpose but now I want to pursue higher education in the US. I wanted to change my visa category and make sure that it reflects my current situation and intention. This is what you need to do if you have already booked your visa appointment or paid your MRV fee using your original DS-160 form before making changes in it using one of the methods that we have explained in this video by presenting both the confirmation pages from the new and original DS-160 form at your visa interview and explaining the changes and the need for a newly updated DS-160 form, you will be able to avoid any confusion or delay in your application process and increase your chances of getting approved for the US visa. And that's all you have it, a step-by-step -step guide to making changes in your DS-160 form after submission. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to help you out. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more useful guides like this. Thanks for watching and good luck with your US visa process.